know, Far Flung believes that every region, God will put someone there to spiritually govern. And Pastor David and Tina are just that couple. They're just revealing the light of God at the top of the world. That I owe. I feel like I'm sitting next to some of the most awesome people right now. you so much you guys are amazing <laughs> thank you guys for bringing them I just hardly can't put it in words what I feel just I feel very privileged to be here with all of you right now you guys are very amazing and you're doing awesome work. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for we love you guys. <laughs> coming to Barrow and you know, just to ignite the youth's faith, you know, because it was such a, a hard season that we went through. And so yeah. it was so good to see, you know, even my son's faith. So that was very encouraging just to, you know, look back and watch them. So that really blessed me. Thank you so much. I think one of the best things you guys bring is just joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So thank you for just bringing joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's an element of truth. Like, as a Christian, I know everybody everywhere needs God. As a team, we've been to Africa, South America. We've been to now the Arctic twice in like just a period of a couple months. And you know everybody everywhere needs God in every state and every nation. But there's an awareness here. Like these people know they need God. Like, and having never been here before with people that are so resilient that can exist in a place where none of us could survive they still had this desperation that they needed God and they knew they needed God. And the very first night, like you never know how people are gonna respond to a message of the Lord or how they're gonna receive like an invitation of prayer. But it's like, there was this moment where everybody's head was bowed and, and you couldn't really gauge the response of, of people and kids. And I was just like, okay, everybody who needs God, everybody who wants, uh, that knows that they're broken or knows that they can't survive without him and wants him, just like on the count of three, just make eye contact with me. It's just, just me and you, just make eye contact with me. And I was like, one, two, three. And I was like, I was really blown away. You know, because I've been in some services where I knew people needed God, but they kept their head down. You know, we've been to some places, there are nations where people know they need God and they keep their head down. And some people in a place that there's been times they've had to keep their head down and just like barrel through and just endure a winter. But there's the people that they knew, I can't put my head down and like, like strength won't get me through this. And all of these kids just lift their eyes. There's this one kid, he's from a place called Point Hope. And I heard him joking. He said, I'm from Point Hope because there it's pointless and it's hopeless. And that kid knows that it's, it is, he's right. It's pointless and it's hopeless. Whether we're in DC or Tennessee or Africa, we're, we're in a place that's pointless and hopeless without the Lord. And they're looking to the Lord. Miriam, this lady, I asked her, what would you tell the youth here? What would you tell them? She said, I would tell them two things that one, we're listening. And they are from the mayor to the pastor to the guy that's just walking down the street that knows Jesus. They're listening to these kids. And that's powerful. That's something we should learn from Beryl. We have to listen. And the other thing she said that was just like so prophetic, just so powerful. She said, it's in our DNA to survive. And if they could realize and tap into that in our DNA, she said, there's nothing these kids can't do. And I thought she's so right. It's in our DNA to survive. And we have to tap into that. And I think these people are on the cusp of something unbelievable. They started, I love that we got to be here at the beginning of a thing. A decade from now, I can't even fathom what 10 or 15 kids are gonna do in this entire region. 